we're moving on to metal oxides theoretically in books what we have in books by the evidence of theory we know that all metal oxides can be decomposed okay all metal oxides can be broken down thermally that is what we have in books but when it comes to the actual thing the actual activity being performed some of them are some of them are very difficult if not impossible they require extremely high temperatures that are not achievable that are not easily achievable let me put that word there easily so when you take let's say potassium oxide k2o when you take sodium oxide na2o these are oxides of highly reactive metals now they are very very difficult to break down they require extremely high temperatures now when you come to the moderately reactive and the unreactive ones they require lesser temperatures to break down so these are the ones that are really feasible the ones that require very low temperature are the oxides from unreactive metals so the higher the position on the reactivity series the greater the temperature now if we recall in our previous classes we saw that we can use catalysts to help reduce the activation energy therefore the energy the heat energy we need to supply to the components can be reduced so catalysts the presence of catalysts the temperature of such reactions can be reduced